Let's check, let's check, let's check. Hello, 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 good. Good evening, everybody. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yep. Yes. Thank you yes, so much, exactly. Giovanni. It's nice to have you. Welcome, everybody. I don't know what's happening, but there is always one student that um I can't hear your voice. I don't know why. There is always one with this soon thing, but... Okay, thank you so much. It's nice to have you. How are you? Everything good? Yes, sounds great. We're going to have another week with a bunch of classes. We have four classes this week, as you may know. Um, we're going to start with section number three, as far as I remember. That's the one we're going to start. Um, just let me show you where, where is that thing. So we're going to start. Uh, and this is class number five. Yes, uh, this is uh, week number two, as you may see. And we're going to have class number five. Yeah, section number three. Could you, um, Jesus, could you do me a favor? That's the title of this section. Request with models, if classes, and germs. It was always a combination of, of everything, okay? That is the thing we're going to have today. Yes. Thank you so much for being here, people. It's nice to have you. I hope everybody is okay at home. Yes, Karen, I got I got a message. Uh and I hope that everything goes well. Yes. Uh I I, I really wish that you can rest and you can be ready as soon as possible. Okay. So uh good evening, Michelle. It's nice to have you one more time on this beautiful day it's monday i love mondays because it's like it's heavy yeah mondays are heavy that's why i love them because it's a challenge every single time it's a challenge on monday okay so welcome it's nice to have you don't forget that i will take the attendance uh half past eight okay i will take the attendance by that time so uh, i'm gonna start with the class yeah so, uh, questions before we begin? Jenny, you ready? Oh, that's wonderful. It's nice to have you one more time. Thanks, teacher. My pleasure. Okay. Jose Lino, hello. Good evening. How are you? My bike is ready. Oh, bike. sounds great. Wonderful. Okay. We're going to start with, with a couple of questions. Uh, we're going to have this one. Okay. Carla, Selena, Hernandez, please read the question on the screen. Okay. I think need is a friend in need. Thank you. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Do you understand this this uh phrase, people? Mm -hmm. Do you understand like a friend in need? Is a friend indeed. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I love this race. Yeah. Sounds amazing, right? What do you think about it, Jenny? What do, what's your opinion about this phrase? Do you agree or do you disagree? Sorry, teacher. I understand this phrase. You don't? I don't understand this phrase. Okay. Okay. Um. Let me see. Carla Selena. Thank you. Back to you, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, do you understand the phrase that we have here on the screen? A friend in need, a friend in need is a friend indeed. Mm -hmm. Yes, Giovanni, hello. Sorry, teacher. Hello, good evening. Oh. So I, um... I That's okay. Know. No problem. No problem. We will help you. Okay, Carla? Don't worry. Thank you so much. Giovanni, uh, do you understand the phrase that we have here on the screen? I think so, but I'm not totally sure. <laughs> oh, please share with us. Okay. Um, According to the things where I believe, a friend in need is a friend indeed uh, means that a friend in need, it's a real friend. When we uh, can he see here the word indeed, means a real someone it's that in in every time with us it's a real friend with us i think so thank you so much that's quite accurate 
Okay, uh, Blanca, thank you so much for letting me know. No problem. Okay, uh, yes, that is true, Giovanni. Yeah, somehow that is true. Okay, a, a friend in need, right? This part, do you understand, right? A, a friend of us need something, right? So it's a friend in need. Maybe he or she doesn't have a job. Maybe he or she like is at the uh, in the hospital, or maybe like I don't know. Uh, this person is having problems, right? Issues. So that is a friend in need. A friend in need. And then the rest that is is a friend indeed. Indeed is like nothing else we can do about it, right? You know, it's like uh, okay. So is my friend. I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna help her. Yes. At the end, that person is my friend. That person is my 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 uh close friend so i will help him yeah no matter what i will uh for her or i will be there for him yes the Jenny? friends and the good and the bad times Ex exactly that is true right that is true yes uh we need to like support them when they need us uh yeah and, and sometimes it's hard it's hard because usually um we are close to people when everything is good right yeah, when everything is good, uh, we have, we are there for them. But what sometimes when these people need something, like they are in need, well, we are not with with them anymore. That's that's it. That's sad, right? That's sad. Now that is the meaning of this phrase, right? Like no matter what, when this, uh, when your friend uh, is in trouble, you will be there for them to help them. Yeah, that's that's the meaning of a friend in need is a friend indeed. Okie dokie. Somebody wrote in the chat. Okay. Oh, geez. Marlene. Okay, Marlene and Roberto. Thank you so much for letting me know. Uh, when I take the attendance, I will read the chat so I can recheck. Okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okie dokie. Jose Lino. Thank you. Let's take a look of this phrase, Jose Lino. Tell me, please. Read the expression and then what do you understand about it? You always say yes to a friend. I consider it uh, yes. If I if is my friend, always uh, yes, my friend. I help you uh, everything. Time. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Sara, what is Sara? Hello, Sara. Let me check. Wendy. Hello. Robert. Good evening. How are you, Sara? <laughs> good evening. Nice to have you. Read this expression and tell me what's your opinion about it. Should you always say yes to a friend? I think that depends on what uh, the friends need because not always we have to um do or or what they want because we don't we can do it thank you so much it depends it depends very good roberto eduardo escamilla gentlemen good evening how are you everything good Oh, yes, Roberto. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Let me see. Blanca. Let me see. Blanca. Oh, Blanca también. Okay. Very good. Michelle also también. Okay. Very good. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Good evening. Can you participate, Oscar? Yes. Yes, sir. No. Janet Carolina Rivera. Hello, Janet. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Can you participate? Yes. Um, oh, Janet. Okay. Yes. Um. Okay. Yes, that's right. It depends on the things, right? That we that this person wants. And the last one is for you, Jenny Carolina Ardon. Please read the question and tell me your opinion or your answer about this, please. 
What would you to do if your friend asked you a favor you didn't feel good about? Mm, I say my opinion uh, to my friends. Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I can feel com comoda? comfortable. Comfortable in in this situation. Maybe I can. I didn't do the uh, the, the favor to my friend because I don't feel good. Thank you so much. Very good, Giovanni. What about you? What are your thoughts about this last question? What will you do if your friend asked you a favor you didn't feel good about it? It actually, I feel totally agree with Jenny because if we're not feeling comfortable about the things that we were asking for, we would need to be sincere with them, right? <laughs> and we need to, to show their, our personal opinion and say that um, I think that um, I don't feel good about it, and I really appreciate your trust in me asking me this, but I think, or I believe this, 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 and this, because <laughs> I believe that it's it's better to be clear from the exactly. beginning, and, and, and that, that's all. <laughs> that's 100% true, right? Yeah, when you don't like something, just spill it out, so everything's, everything's clear. Okay, thank you so much. We're going to have a little bit of annoying favor, favors people ask. This is the title of this uh, share information. What do you understand from this one? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Tell me what do you understand from this one? Yes. What is annoying favors? What is a favor? What is that about? Mm -hmm. What is a favor? Anybody? It's something that we can do in behalf of the other person. Exactly. Or Very for the good. benefits of, of them. Yeah, that's right. So sometimes we do that, right? Sometimes we do that. Okay. Very good. What about the picture? Selena, can you describe what do you see here in this picture? To to children. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? And maybe they are playing with the school and I don't know what Sorry. What do you mean, oh yeah? Oh, we have so, like a pan, I guess. Yeah, pan. Um, one of the child, you one child. were uh, one child, where I him, her, and her, the other one, the computer, okay, that's good, that's good, thank you, okay, thank you so much. Okay, we're going to have this one. Could you? Could you? And then we have some expressions, right? Like all of them are questions, if you notice, right? Question, 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 question. All of them begins with could you? When do you think we use could? Based on the context that we have here. Mm -hmm. Jenny? Read the first. Oh, yes, please. Read all of them. Could you? And then... Could you babysit my kids on the weekend? No. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So we have the this model verb, which is could. Oh, good. And we are asking for what? What are we asking for? <laughs> when, when my friends... Um, 
asking a favor uh, some babies is the the child mm -hmm. or maybe go to the school to okay, take yes. the child. That is true, right? Like here in El Salvador, uh, usually that's what we do, right? Okay, or maybe <laughs> uh, uh, mothers or grandpas or, or grandmas babysit. Yeah, that's what they usually do. Yeah, or some, some have our sisters or our brothers, they babysit sometimes, right? Very good. Uh, do me a favor, Sara. Please read sentences from two to number 10 and starting with could you. Could you? Yes, Sara? Could you, okay. Could you watch my stuff for a few minutes? Could you, could you let me use your credit card? Could you drive me to the airport? Could you let me use your passcode to download a movie? Could you help me move to my new apartment? Could you come with me to my niece's school concert? Could you let me stay at your place for a couple of weeks? Could you donate to Nate to my favorite charity? Could you co-sign a bank loan for me? Thank you so much. Okay, so all of them begins with could you. Now, imagine that your close friend asks you each of these favors. So just imagine that you have a close friend that is asking you these favors. Which would you agree to do? Let's begin with you, Carla, Selena. Which would you agree to do. So we have 10 in total, right? And you can say, oh, for me, this one's, this one's, and this one, right? First questions? Oh. Oh, no. Which one, which would you agree to do? Here we have uh, your friend is asking you 10 favors, right? 10 favors in total, yes? But you decide which one would you agree to do? So maybe it's up to you, right? Depending on, um, I don't know. Number four, for example, drive. Uh, could you drive me to the airport? Yes. Just, just that one, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. oh, that's very clever, right? Just pick one, and that's all. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What about you, Olga? Mm -hmm. which would you agree to do is if your friend right ask you these okay. 10 favors which one or which would you I agree to do i choose the number four. <laughs> oh, number four okay okay yeah well, what about number 10 what about number 10 why you don't you don't go with number 10 oh no <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but no. okay. okay, thank you so much. Jose Lino, question for you. What are three other favors that you dislike being asked? Like you say, oh, for me, this one, this one, and this one. Mm -hmm. Jose, what are three other favors that you dislike being asked? Maybe number six. Tell me to move. Could you tell me, help me move to my apartment? Okay. Just that is one. I give me give me two more. Give me two more. That you dis dislike, right? That you dislike. Give me two more. So number six is one. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number four. Okay. No compromise. Okay. And what is the other one? The number three. Uh huh. What is the number three? What is charity? 
cherry. cherry. Oh, no, cherry. Oh, cherry, cherry is no, like no, la no. teletón. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Cherry oh, is yeah. like that, la teletón, right? That means caridad in Spanish. Exactly. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you so much, Giovanni. Two. Nine. Number two, watch two. my stuff for a few minutes. For a few minutes, it's like one hour or two hours, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That, that's true. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, let me check the chat really quick. Because I know your classmates are here, but they have, they don't have the chance to participate. It's good. They like just, okay, okay, very good. Let me check. Uh, Neftali, hello, Neftali. Neftali Mejia. This one. What are three other favors that you dislike being asked? Mm, to be babysit my kids on weekends. <laughs> The first one could be let me use your credit card mm -hmm. and and donate to my favorite clarity. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, that's all right. That's too much. That's too much. Thank you so much, yeah. Neftali. Oh, Neftali, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, okay, yes. perfect. Let me know if I mispronounce your name because sometimes um, it's hard for me to, to, to say it, okay. We're gonna have this information. Look at the picture, please, Giovanni. Describe the picture. Okay, in the picture, I'm able to see two people that are carrying a sofa. Probably they're moving to a different apartment. And I can see many furniture that probably are in the boxes. And yep, I, I think, or I guess they're moving to a different apartment. Probably right, thank you so much, okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, we're gonna have this thing. What are what are they doing? Okay, I'm gonna play the audio and then we can discuss what are they doing or what are they talking about. Let's listen. And if you don't hear the audio, let me know anytime. Okay. Unit three. Lend a hand. Page sixteen. Exercise two, conversation. Thanks a million, part A. Listen and practice. Hey Keiko, what's up? Hi Carlos, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm moving to my new apartment this weekend and my car is pretty small. Can I borrow your truck please? Um, I need it on Saturday, but you can borrow it on Sunday. Thanks so much. Sure. So, have you packed already? Uh-huh. I mean, I'll have everything packed by Sunday. You know, I think some of my boxes are going to be kind of heavy. Would you mind helping me put them in your truck on Sunday? I guess not. I suppose you want my help taking them out of the truck, too. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks a million, Carlos. Thank you. So one more time. Okay. What are they talking about? What does Caito want from Carlos? Will Carlos help? Or these are the questions. Okay. One more time. I will play the audio so you can figure it out. Those questions like what are they talking about? What does Caito want from Carlos? And if Carlos will help her. Let's listen. Unit 3. Lend a Hand. Page 16. Exercise 2. Conversation. Thanks a Million. Part A. Listen and Practice. Hey Keiko, what's up? Hi Carlos. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm moving to my new apartment this weekend and my car is pretty small. Can I borrow your truck please? Um... I need it on Saturday, but you can borrow it on Sunday. Thanks so much. Sure. So, have you packed already? Uh-huh. I mean, I'll have everything packed by Sunday. You know, I think some of my boxes are going to be kind of heavy. Would you mind helping me put them in your truck on Sunday? 
I guess not. I suppose you want my help taking them out of the truck, too. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks a million, Carlos. Thank you. So, Sara, question for you. What are they talking about? Uh, about moving to a new apartment. And she needed help from Carlos. Okay. Is Carlos available for that? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, somehow that is true. Perhaps if I show you the... the uh... Unit 3. Lend a hand. Okay. Page 16. Exercise 2. Conversation. Thanks a million. Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Keiko. What's up? Hi, Carlos. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm moving to my new apartment this weekend, and my car is pretty small. Can I borrow your truck, please? Um, I need it on Saturday, but you can borrow it on Sunday. Thanks so much. Sure. So, have you packed already? Uh-huh. I mean, I'll have everything packed by Sunday. You know, I think some of my boxes are going to be kind of heavy. Would you mind helping me put them in your truck on Sunday? I guess not. I suppose you want my help taking them out of the truck, too. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks a million, Carlos. Thank you so much. That was very close, Sarah. Very close. Thank you so much. Great job. Now, we're going to have this conversation one more time, as you may see. I will play the audio so you can listen and read at the same time. Yes. And then we will practice a little bit. Okay. We have Keiko and Carlos. Thanks a million. What is the meaning of this expression, eh, Jose Lino? Thanks a million. Un millón de gracias. <laughs> yes, exactly. Right. It's like when we are like so like eager, and we so is so glad that somebody help us with this. Okay, so we say, oh, thanks a million. That's a huge favor. Okay, <laughs> let's listen and read. Unit three. Lend a hand. Page 16. Exercise 2. Conversation. Thanks a million. Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Keiko. What's up? Hi, Carlos. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm moving to my new apartment this weekend, and my car is pretty small. Can I borrow your truck, please? Um... I need it on Saturday, but you can borrow it on Sunday. Thanks so much. Sure. So, have you packed already? Uh-huh. I mean, I'll have everything packed by Sunday. You know, I think some of my boxes are going to be kind of heavy. Would you mind helping me put them in your truck on Sunday? I guess not. I suppose you want my help taking them out of the truck, too. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks a million, Carlos. Let me see what was the time. Yes, I gotta take the attendance really quick. Then we'll get back to this conversation. Just give me a minute. When you hear your beautiful name, please say I'm here or present. Also, I have a few of you that are in the chat, like uh, Rod, that you're not able to use your mic today. So uh, I will be checking the chat just to be sure about it. Okay, so just give me a minute. Uh, yes, here we go. Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. Let me see. Blanca Maria. Okay, Blanca. Check this one soon. Yeah. What about Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera? Let me check. Edgar. Edgar, no, Edgar. Edgar. Hello, Edgar. Are you here? No, he isn't. Okie dokie. Let's carry on with Giovanni Stanley Flores Salazar. Here. Thank you so much. Nice to have you. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Okay. No, Janet, are you here? No, she isn't. What about uh, Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez? Thank you and good evening. It's nice to have you. Uh, Karen Elizabeth, 
you brought in the chat. Yes, nice, nice to hear your voice. Okay, thank you so much. Karen Yvette Villanueva. Karen Yvette Villanueva. Yes, thank you so much for being here. Welcome, welcome. Um, yes. I'm sorry, I'm able to see that Janet came back once again. Janet. Oh, Janet. Hello, Janet. Oh, nice to see you one more time. Just let me check, Janet. Janet, Janet, Janet. Oh, yes. Janet, Carolina, please uh, write it in the chat um, soon so I can have your, your attendance, please. Write it down. Thank you. Um, Carla Selena. Hello, Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. Perfect, wonderful. Maria Santos Lopez. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Teacher, no sé si ya pasó lista y pasó ya, pero es que fíjese que me estaba dando problema. Entonces me había sacado de la de la clase y acabo de volver a entrar. Oh, okay. Welcome. I got you here. Thank you so much for letting me know. Nice to have you. Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona. Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you so much and good evening. Nice to have you. Um, Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. Okay. Writing in the chat. Yeah, she did that. I'm, thank you so much for letting me know. Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful. It's nice to have you. Uh, Olga Marleni Gómez Ríos. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Olga. It's nice to have you. One more time. Eh, Oscar, Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Let me check. Oscar Alexander Santana Reyes. Oscar, Oscar, are you here? No Oscar today. Okie dokie. Let's carry on with Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. You wrote in the chat. Thank you so much. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Present. Thank you and good evening. Nice to have you. Wendy, I think Wendy, you wrote in the chat, right? That you are just, yes, Wendy, I got you here. Thank you so much. Um, Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you all, people. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, somebody else, oh, okay. That's not understood. Okay, thank you. One more time, I will play the audio of this conversation. Okay, so you can uh, read and listen at the same time and then be ready because some of you will participate here. Okay, let's listen and read. Unit 3, Lend a Hand. Page 16, Exercise 2, Conversation. Thanks a Million, Part A. Listen and practice. Hey, Keiko. What's up? Hi, Carlos. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm moving to my new apartment this weekend, and my car is pretty small. Can I borrow your truck, please? Um, I need it on Saturday, but you can borrow it on Sunday. Thanks so much. Sure. So, have you packed already? Uh-huh. I mean, I'll have everything packed by Sunday. You know, I think some of my boxes are going to be kind of heavy. Would you mind helping me put them in your truck on Sunday? I guess not. I suppose you want my help taking them out of the truck, too. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks a million, Carlos. Thank you so much. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez and you, Carla Selena. You are Keiko, Carla, and Lino, you are Carlos. Ready? Let's begin. Hey, Keiko, what's up? Hi, Carlos. I was wondering if you could help me. I am moving to my new apartment this weekend, and my car is pretty small. Can I borrow your truck, please? Oh, I need, I need it on Saturday, but you can borrow it on Sunday. Thank you so much. Sure. So, have you packed it already? 
Uh huh. I mean, I uh, had everything back to my sound. By sound, you know, I think so of my boxes are going to be kind of heavy. Would you mind helping helping me to put them your truck on Sunday? I guess not. I suppose what might have helping them out of truck too. Oh, that would be great. Thank you, Daniel Carlos. Thank you so much. Just really quick, uh, Lino. You need to check a little bit of a uh, regular verse ending pronunciation, right? The eat, okay? With regular verse. Thank you so much. The rest, everything is awesome. Thank you. Uh, Jenny, you're next. You're gonna be Keiko and Giovanni, you are Carlos. Ready? Let's begin. Hey Keiko, what's up? Hi Carlos, I was wondering if you could me you could help me. I'm moving to a new apartment this weekend and my car is pretty small. Uh can you can I borrow your truck, please? Mm, I need it on Saturday, but you can borrow it on Sunday. Thank you so much. Sure. So have you packed it already? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll have everything packed by Sunday. You know, I think some of my boxes are going to be are going to be of heavy. Will you mean help me helping me put them in your truck on Sunday? I guess not. I suppose you want my help taking them out of the truck too. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks a million, Carlos. Thank you. Uh, packed, packed, packed. Olga and Sara. Thank you, Olga. You're Carlos and Keiko, that's you, Sara. Ready? Let's begin. Hey, Eiko, what's up? Hi, Carlos. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm moving to my new apartment this weekend, and my car is pretty small. Can I borrow your truck, please? Um, I need it on Saturday, but you can borrow it on Sunday. Thanks so much. Sure. So, how do you pack already? Uh-huh. I mean, I have I have everything packed by Sunday. You know, I think some, some of my boxes are going to be kind of heavy. Would you mind help, helping me put them in your truck on Sunday? I guess not. I suppose you want my help talking them out of the truck. Oh, that, that'd be great. Thanks, Emilio, Carlos. That was beautiful. Great job, the two of you. Okay. Uh, somebody else, if, if somebody else wants to participate, participate, please raise your hand. Because, like, um, there are some of you that uh, um, brought in the chat that don't have the chance to turn on the mic. If not, I'm going to move on to the next thing, which is about uh, the grammar part that we have for today. Okay, so let me show you, you really quick. We have this listing that is related to the previous conversation and we have two questions. What else does she need help with? And do her friends agree to help? So two questions related to the previous conversation. So we're gonna have the rest of it. What else does she need help with? And do her friends agree? Oh, Jesus. To help. Okay, let's listen and then try to answer. Page 16, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to two more calls Keiko makes. What else does she need help with? Do her friends agree to help? 1. Hi, Keiko. Hi, Hunter. I was wondering if you could do me a favor. That depends. 
Well, I'm moving this weekend, so I'll be really busy taking everything over to my new apartment. Would it be okay if I left my goldfish at your place for the weekend? Your fish? Sure. I'll be around all weekend, and I love watching those little guys swim around in the tank. Thanks a lot. Is it okay if I come by with them on Friday? That's fine. Two. Claire Dawson. Hi, Claire. It's Keiko. Oh, hello. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, the reason I'm calling is I have a really big favor to ask you. Okay, what is it? Remember I told you that I'm moving this weekend? Yeah, I remember. Well, I was wondering if you could help me pack my stuff. Gee, Keiko, I'd really love to help you out, but I'm going away this weekend. It's my mother's birthday, and I promised to go visit her. Oh, okay. I understand. Anyway, how are things? I haven't seen you for ages. Oh, you know, work, work, work. You got it? Yes. One more time, the audio. Carla, Selena. Oh, one more time. Sure, no problem. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Page 16. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to two more calls Keiko makes. What else does she need help with? Do her friends agree to help? 1. Hi, Keiko. Hi, Hunter. I was wondering if you could do me a favor. That depends. Well, I'm moving this weekend, so I'll be really busy taking everything over to my new apartment. Would it be okay if I left my goldfish at your place for the weekend? Your fish? Sure. I'll be around all weekend, and I love watching those little guys swim around in the tank. Thanks a lot. Is it okay if I come by with them on Friday? That's fine. Two. Claire Dawson. Hi, Claire. It's Keiko. Oh, hello. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Listen, the reason I'm calling is I have a really big favor to ask you. Okay, what is it? Remember I told you that I'm moving this weekend? Yeah, I remember. Well, I was wondering if you could help me pack my stuff. Gee, Keiko, I'd really love to help you out, but I'm going away this weekend. It's my mother's birthday, and I promised to go visit her. Oh, okay. I understand. Anyway, how are things? I haven't seen you for ages. Oh, you know, work, work, work. Work, work, work. Okay, so number one. Okay, who's the first one? What else does she need help with? Mm -hmm. Who was the first person? What was the name of this person? He, he got a really good name, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. His name was Hunter. Hunter, right, exactly. And what was the favor like uh, Keiko was asking for? Mm -hmm. What was the favor? Sarah? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Jenny, thank you. He, uh, his friend, uh care the goldfish oh yes right take care of the goldfish right there is a goldfish that she wants to uh hunter to take to take care uh, does does hunter agree with her oh yes yes yes, right? yes. yes because uh he's like uh watch uh when they swim in the i know if say it's a person. oh yes Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Thank you so much. Very good. What about Olga? About the other person? Who was the other person? Claire. It was Claire, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Claire. Claire. Uh, what is the Claire, favor is... that Keiko is asking for? I don't remember. So... That's okay. I... Mm -hmm. Just just remember Kate Claire going to away on the weekend. Oh, so so does Claire agree 
with her? No. Yes or no? Oh, no, right? No. So, because Claire, is Claire busy? Yes. Oh, that's true. So, Joselino, thank you. What is the favor yeah. that Keiko is asking for? Exactly. She, she has like a birthday meeting or something like that. Very good. But what is the favor Keiko is asking for? Carla, Selena? Package? I remember that. Exactly. Packaging, right? So uh, Keiko wants some help with the packaging. Oh, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Page. Um, let's, we're going to watch this video related to the grammar content. Let's listen and watch. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to ask for favors using models, if clauses, and gerunds. The main goal is to learn how to make requests in different forms. So we all make requests to our friends, family members, as well as our manager at work. And the way that we make this request tends to change depending on how we're addressing the person and who we're addressing, right? And the level of confidence that you have with the person. So for example, if you're asking a very close friend to lend you $5, usually you'll make the request by simply saying, can I borrow $5? I'll pay you back tomorrow. However, if you're asking your manager to give you an extra day off, you'll typically ask by saying, I wonder if I could take an extra day off. And the reason is simple. It's because it's not what you say, but how you say it. It's more likely that if you ask in a very polite manner, you'll get what you want. In certain cases, of course. So that's what we're going to learn today. So let me introduce uh, some structure. This topic, by the way, it's quite simple. Uh, what we want to do is we want to use uh, models. We want to use if clauses and gerunds. So just uh, uh, let me point out what those are. Uh, just a quick reminder: you're probably familiar with this already. Uh, but what are uh, so what are models? Well, those are models are uh, those model verbs that you see there: can, uh, could, and also would, right? Uh, and um, if clauses, well, those those are simply uh, whenever you see do you mind if, right? Whenever you see this word, that's what we refer to uh, an if clause. Um, and then uh, the last thing that uh, we want to learn there is how to use gerunds to make this kind of request. Uh, and so that's that example that you see there. Would you mind letting me use your laptop okay and what we mean by this is that we're going to use a gerund right so would you mind after would you mind um, we're going to have to use a gerund and i'm going to quickly point that out here in a second so let me just quickly point out the examples that we see here so as you can see we on the left we see that if i use the expression can i borrow your pencil that is something that I will typically ask a friend, someone that I'm very close to, right? So it's uh, uh, an informal way. It's not rude, by the way. It's it's simply uh, the other ways to ask are just a bit more polite. Can I borrow your pencil? Could you lend me a jacket? Is it okay if I use your phone? Do you mind if I use your CD burner? Would it be okay if I picked it up on Friday night? Would you mind if I borrow your digital camera? Would you mind letting me use your laptop? I wonder if I could borrow some money. Um, and finally, um, I was wondering if you mind lending me your car. So again, um, these are just different ways that you can ask for things. Uh, and what we want to learn today is how to use all of these different ways, how to use um, models, if clauses, and gerunds to um, make requests, right? So what I will do is I will give you a situation. And so uh, for today's class, the situation is that you want to borrow $20 from a friend. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna uh, make the request uh, using all of the different forms that you see there, right? 
Uh, it's not to say that you're going to use that with a friend. Usually with a friend, someone that's kind of close to you or very close to you, it all depends, you will typically just say, hey, can I borrow $20 from you, right? Um, but as I mentioned uh, previously, if you are asking your boss for an extra day off, uh, usually you'll try to find a more polite way to ask um, for um, that. Um, so let's let's do the example. How how are we going to do this? So well, uh, what's the um, less formal way of doing it? Well, you can say, "Can I borrow twenty dollars?" That's quite simple, right? Um, the other way could be, "Could you lend me twenty dollars?" Right. So I'm just notice that I'm using um, the model verbs, the uh, the words that are in gray, that are grayed out. That's what I'm using. Um, another way could be, is it okay if I borrow $20, all right? And uh, what could be another way? Well, we can say, do you mind if I borrow $20? Okay. Would it be okay if I borrow $20? Um, and in this case, I quickly want to point out, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but um, in this case, what we did is we changed the verb to the past, as you, got, as you can see there. And the reason um, is quite simple. Simply, um, whenever we make this kind of request, remember that what we're trying to do is we're trying to sound more polite. So... Uh, by us changing the verb to the past, this makes that request even more polite. Right? Now, this doesn't mean that you cannot make the request without changing that verb to the past. You can do that if you want. So you could say, would it be okay if I borrow $20? You don't necessarily need to change that to the past. However, um, we're learning that um, we're going to change it to the past in order to sound more polite. Right? Will be another way to say this. Well, we can say, um, "Would you mind if I borrow twenty dollars?" That's another way of, of saying it. Um, and I want you to pay special attention to the next expression: "Would you mind lending me twenty dollars?" So in this case, whenever you see "Would you mind?" the expression "Would you mind?" without the if, right? Whenever you see the expression "Would you mind?" This is always going to follow a gerund. So it's always going to follow a gerund. Would you mind lending me $20? The example that we see uh, in this little chart is, would you mind letting me use your laptop, as you can see? So we had to change the verb let to um, a gerund. Uh, and let me just point out the other two examples there. So those would be, I wonder if I could borrow $20. And I was wondering if you mind lending me twenty dollars. Okay, and as you can see, I also um, highlighted this in red because um, after we see the word "mine" or the verb "mine," then this is going to follow uh, a gerund. What I would like for you to do is to make requests with the models, the if clauses, and the gerunds. Uh, so let's say, for example, I, I gave you, uh, these are all situations. Let me just point out that these are situations, okay? Uh, could you lend me some money for a soda? Is it okay if you lend me some money for a soda, right? This is the situation, and what I would like for you to do is to use all of these model verbs and all of those if clauses and all of those gerunds that you can see there in order to make those requests. The idea here is to practice. Thank you so much. So over here we have the grammar part, like this one, right? The uh, main purpose of this one is make requests using these models, if classes, and the gerunds. Yeah. Here we have the less formal, and here we have the more formal. So you can figure it out which one you use depending on the is an area you're having, right? Or you're facing. If that is a close friend, you go with the less formal, right? If that is a your boss or somebody like um, maybe your, your father, or maybe your mother, yeah, you can go with the former ones, right? Here we have a little bit of this 
how do we use this one? Yes, uh, Jenny, can you please read this information for everybody? This one, please. Use the simple past form, not the gerund or simple present form. After if with would you meet to mind? And would it be a right? Would you mean if you said use your car? Would it be all right if you, I use your car? Not would you mean to mean if I using your car, or would it be all right if use your car? Thank you so much. Okay, the past form, not the year on, on or simple present. Yes. Just be careful with this one. Okay, with B. Okay, with B. Be careful with that one. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at some example so we can have a little bit of practice. We have these situations, situations here, and we have some requests, right? Number one, you want to borrow a friend's underwear camera for a dive trip. So uh, we had the beginning. I was wondering if I could borrow your underwear camera. I'm sorry, on the water. Jesus, on the water camera. Okay, uh, sure. That's fine. Just please be careful with it. Yeah. What about number two? You see? You want to use um your roommate's computer. Okay. What is their request? Uh it is okay. What is the next one? Anybody? You can use the computer? No, this one is, is going to start with um I because you want to use your room, so that means you, right? So it is okay. What is the next one? Okay, mm -hmm. teacher. Actually, I believe that that will depend to the trust that we have with the roommate. <laughs> 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 right? But um, if he's my close friend, I can say, can I borrow your computer? Oh, yeah, that is true. Yeah, we can say that. That We can say that, okay? Can I borrow your computer? That's okay. But what happened here, the case is here, like, they are giving us the option already. I mean, if you answer like that, that is perfect. But Oh, Jesus, give me a minute. But here they are giving us, giving us the beginning of the sentence. Like, for example, here, let me show let me show you. Here we have the expression, if you notice, right? Yeah. So we have this expression. Can I? Could? Is it okay if I? Do you mind if I? Uh, would it be all right if I? Uh, would you mind if? Would you mind? I was wondering if. So they give us like the option here. They given us the option already. So that means it doesn't allow us to to change it, right? The way you did it. I mean, it is okay, yeah, but it doesn't allow us to to use it because of the structure at the beginning. Yep. Let me see. Mm -hmm. So what is the option here? It is okay if I use oh, your perfect. computer. Exactly. If, uh, if I use your computer. Perfect. Wonderful. Computer, right? <laughs> I did a mistake with the first one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It is. Is it okay if I use your computer? Yeah, that's good. Thank you so much. Great job. What about number two? I think number three, right? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that's right. Your neighbor has a car. You need a ride to class. Oh, my gosh, that's good. With this traffic, that's impossible. Okay, would you mind? Would you mind giving me a ride to work? Oh, very good. 
Okay. Giving me a ride to, I think it's to class because of the context we have over there. Yes. Okay. Giving me a ride to class. Very good. Yes. So remember that these are requests. Requests. And just let me point out here. Don't forget. Oh, Jesus. This is structure that we have here. I'm sorry. This is structure that we have here. Less formal and more formal. Yes. I hope that tomorrow we can have a little bit more chance to practice this one. Okay. Remember that section number three is for this week. Good night, people. And we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you so much for everything. Great job.